This morning we went and chased one of Australia's iconic bread and butter fish, and that's good old humble flathead. So I'm gonna show you how we prepare those flathead using the Victory Knox knives. So it's important you only take what you need, and today I've only kept three fish, just enough to feed the family. We've made sure that we've disposed of the fish by bleeding the fish and putting them on ice, and they've been kept in prime condition. The facility I'm using today has a metal surface. I've brought along a nylon cutting board to protect the blade of the knife. First thing I'm going to do is make an incision just behind the pectoral fin. And I'm going to take that all the way up to the bottom of the neck. I'll turn the blade of the knife. And as I turn the blade of the knife, you'll feel the rib bones against the blade. With most flathead, especially the smaller ones, we're able to just Crack through those rib bones and work your way down to the back of the tail with an angle on the knife running along the backbone. And you'll get a perfect fillet every time. After flipping the fish over, make that incision again all the way up to the base of the head. From there, turn the knife and run the blade with a firm stroke straight through the rib bones with an angled blade along the backbone, run it all the way down to the base of the tail. So for skinning, I've changed to a 20 centimeter flexible straight knife. I'm gonna make a small incision at the back of the tail, about a centimeter in, and what that'll allow me to do is get a little bit of grip on the back of the tail. The other idea is to run a little slice down the middle of the fillet and that'll keep the fillet nice and flat. Use the flexibility of this long 20 centimetre blade to run along the skin and the cutting board with an angle all the way to the end of the fillet. I'm preparing these fillets for the family so we're going to take the pin bones out and also the rib cage. Well there you have it, a nice fresh bit of flathead. Anyone in Australia can do this, it's accessible right across the country. One last thing before we go is make sure we clean all the table down. This is a public facility and I want to make sure that I'll leave it good for the next person that comes along. I'm going to bag this fish up right now, throw it in the esky, go home and cook a beautiful fresh feed of fish for the family.